today I'm going to walk you through a design that I'm not completely satisfied with, but I think there's something there and I hope it inspires you to make something way better than I did. We're going to draw the seed of life right in the middle. Now we follow this line to this intersection on the left and we'll draw another circle. We'll do the same thing on the right. And then I'm going to use these four points to draw more circles. And then I'll put my compass in that same point that we drew that circle on the right. Put it there, open it up to the diameter of the circles. And then I'm going to draw another circle here. And then what you're going to do is just work your way around the seed of life using the same points that you already did. By the way, if you want to watch this class in real time, head over to my Patreon and sign up. I do a new one of these every full moon. The idea for this is going to be a mandala, but it's going to be made of leaves. And what I want to do is have the leaves spiraling out from the center. And I just want to follow the, the pattern that's already there. So I'm going to have tip of the leaf is going to be here It'll come down and then it's going to go down this line and then into the, the smaller seed of life to make that kind of spiral effect so I'm just going to match it up there and then I'm going to it's going to be a few leaves I think so I just need to figure out where to put the other ones I want it to look like um, like a bundle of leaves you know so I'll have to this is going to be the end of the leaf so yeah, there's the top of it, and then I'm going to have this, what do you call the middle of a leaf? That kind of stem that runs through it. Is it called a stem? I don't even know. Anyway, it's going to come out from that point there on the seed, and just kind of swoop up to there. I'm going to use that line that I've just drawn to drawing another leaf next to it. If you imagine you've got a line coming through connecting this intersection on the seed of life up to this one on the bigger one you know just imagine there's a line there and i'm gonna go to that line and that'll be like i don't know it's just like a kink in the leaf and then it, it'll start to swirl up and i'm not using any leaves as a reference here this is all just made up so i need to do the stem for that all right is it? It's not even called a stem, is it? What's it called? We want to come down to about like halfway of this petal here and just kind of swoop around and just trying to make it look as organic as possible so it flows nicely. Then again, I'm going to use that as my starting point for the next leaf, which is going to come up. It's going to come up like this. Where should we go to? I think I want it to end here on this where these two circles cross. So I'll just start there, draw the kink thing there, and then we can come down through this point here. And then it's got to come out of the center so they all look like they're just spiraling out of the middle. And we'll have it just looping back like that. And then we're drawing the stem, and the stem will go right into the center as well. I'm gonna have to Google this if it's got the stem or not. The mid rib, how about that? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just copy exactly what I did there in this shape, which is probably gonna be harder than it looks. So I have to make sure I'm following all the same lines. So we have this coming down to here, don't we? It's gonna be good if it doesn't look exactly symmetrical though, because that's that's how it is in nature. And I think that always looks best in, in mandalas is when it's not, because it kind of tricks your eye into thinking that it is natural, you know what I mean? I 
hopefully that'll be make it easier to follow or it'll just make it way more confusing and i apologize if it has made it more confusing but like i say this is just this is experimental for me i'm just um trying out new things and bringing you along to try it with me so yeah we'll just go through there and like i say this is just a very rough guide of where you got to go it's not mega important to use it and then we got the kink for this leaf which is on this line here so it's there so we can just Draw this in, this goes to the, where does this go? Oh yeah, it comes out of there. And then this, where does it end? It ends just on this line here, doesn't it? Nice little swoosh. And then it goes to here. This is where the other leaf darts, isn't it? So it comes down like this. And then, where does it go? Oh yeah, so it's coming out of the, out the middle and it's going there. And then we can draw in the mid rib for this one. All right, that's cool. And now I'll just keep doing the same thing, just working my way around until it looks remotely similar. Um, where's the tip of this? Let's get the mid rib in there. And then this one comes to where? All right, and then the other side of the leaf comes out like this. Uh, and it meets, where does it meet? This point here, is it this? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, and then just a little swoosh. I don't know, that doesn't look quite right. Yeah, it's all right. And then, all right, the next one. <laughs> Man, it's so confusing, doing it upside down. I don't know why I do it. Oh yeah, that looks right. That's a much easier way of doing it. Draw the three leaves first and then then we'll draw in the mid ribs. Alright, we're starting to join up now, aren't we? Cool. Need something in here as well, doesn't it? We need to just draw another leaf in here. Like that. These don't have to be perfect because we want it to look natural. Cool. I think it's ready for ink. So I'm using a Sakura Micron graphic pen for the outline. I love this pen. Like, I've only just started using it, but it's so good. I wanted this design to look like a bundle of leaves spiraling, but to be honest, I'm not massively satisfied with the design, but I just I just thought I'd share it with you anyway, because I like the, the pattern that it uses. I like the geometry of it. I just think I went a bit overboard with the leaves. I think I made it a bit too busy. You know, I usually like a lot of detail, so by default I just cram as much detail in as possible. But I think this particular design, it just needed more room to breathe, you know. I think there's something there though. I just didn't find it, so next time I'll do better. Also, the shading wasn't great, I think I went a bit overboard with the dots. I feel like I learned a lot making it. And that's all that matters, isn't it?